Day 50,273. I don't think that's what the day is. John is doing a very good job in the laundry and I actually haven't really done anything, but Jono is about to lose it. <laughs> Okay, I'm legitimately a little bit embarrassed to be showing you the state of our laundry, but come on in. So this needs an upgrade. There's a couple of reasons why. Basically, there is literally no functionality in this room. There is stuff everywhere. It just does not work. There's random cupboards, massive fridge. It's not considered. If we do need to consider the functionality of this space and start again, it's going to be problematic because I want to do it on a budget, but I don't want to change up too much. So it's going to be about changing out the layout, smart cabinetry. We have to fix the floor somehow and paint always paint. So this is kind of like the kitchen because it all comes down to the appliances, what you're using, how you use them, and then figuring out how to lay them out. So appliances first, cabinetry second, and then a good base for the floor. Plus again, the door, because it opens up and because this is kind of, I mean, it's not a small laundry, but it doesn't work functionally opening it up. So I want to get rid of it and maybe put a sliding door out the front because I feel like that will just create much more space in here. And it's nice to be able to have it open most of the time, but then shut it away if you need to clean it up for guests. Do you know what would be great? If we could like not have like hazardous chemicals on display. So I think some hidden storage would be good. Maybe this guy can go. He is not doing a great deal for me apart from providing the lunch. So he's got to go. And you know what? Let's freshen up with some sexier window furnishing. Oh, oh God. Oh no, what have I done? Might need some tile work. Oh. out storage we need to figure out cabinetry we need to figure out colors and we need to sort the floor ah! what's wrong with the floor well it's brick timber concrete all sorts all sorts all sorts i like licorice all sorts but, but not, not all sorts, all sorts? Of no, no just one it's not even flat it's not even flat so okay. we need to level this out so we're going to go to bunnings to figure out what we're going to do down there we need to work out a layout first, so we're going to have to get someone to tell us what the best option is for fitting all our stuff in. So Come on, let's go! Woo! Do you want to go look at flooring options for the laundry and wall panelling and stuff? thinking and stop us if we're just like no this door is gonna go we're gonna put a barn door on the, on the outside, outside, on the outside so it opens up space because yep. this is a bit annoying what we really want to do here is probably continue the theme that we had happening over there okay. probably not the timber actually <laughs> haven't chosen a sink or anything yet but we have chosen we've got some new appliances coming so washer and dryer and we're thinking that they come over here and we just have one nice long bench Bench top with, a, with the allowance of the sink awesome. and then on here we just go cabinetry top cabinets so. are you not changing the window not changing the window so but Jono is maybe just going to build out a tiny bit just to cover it's just hodgepodge yeah, so we'll, we'll make sure the surfaces worry. are kind of even good to go so the window if we can we'll use some of this space yeah, okay. so I can take this off so it and I can put a trim how wide are the Venetians that are coming they sit in inside. I don't know about that. So I'd be, oh, whatever. I wouldn't so. do that. I don't know. I'd feel like maybe we just leave that window. They're not going to be wider than this. So okay. like you've got room to play. So cabinet, so cabinet, bench, bench, this open and then maybe cabinet. And then what we thought this wall will be J panel or something just make it look nice. This is obviously going, this is just random and yeah. it just happens to be here, Erin. Okay, don't cool. ask me why, cool. but Excellent. it's just there. We're going to want to keep this because there's nothing wrong with it. No. But what we thought is, can we just do a cabinet that's like here whatever your standard thing is but oh. look at that though that's one thing you gotta know it's like a old Can you just lie that box over? Easier said than done. Okay. <sighs> 
there you go. It's that okay. height wise is probably maybe a restriction. So probably yeah. cabinet from the start of that cabinet all the way to the start of that brick column. So yep. you have end panels either side. That'll be the standard 2,200 high. Cool. So if you wanted, you would potentially like bulkhead the top of that so that yep. you would cover, cover yep. all that in. Let's do that after. You know what to do there, John. Yeah. This laundry is going to be the best laundry ever and I'm so excited! Are you excited, Jono? Yeah, pretty excited! <gasps> there is going to be so much storage, it is out of this world! Sexy bench top, black, white, because I don't want to go too heavy up the top. That's going to be white, it's going to be clean, it's going to be fresh, it's going to be amazing! I'm going to really want to clean my clothes, so excited! What? What do you mean? We sold them. What do you mean? We, they're gone. They got picked up yesterday. We've got new ones on order. We needed space. But I need underpants. You've got plenty of underpants. Oh my god, couple Chono. Of days, couple of days without them. You'll live. I told you they were going. <laughs> what do you mean? You didn't listen to me. I can't. I'm so dirty with you right now. Don't. Stop what do you it. mean? Okay, so here's the current situation in the laundry. A little bit more work than we had originally anticipated. So, Jono has pulled up the floorboards. He was able to actually remove bricks, which were over there, and they came out quite easily. And so now he is trying to smash up a piece of concrete there, which is randomly placed on a ton of bricks. And not only that, we've also realized that, well, these timber beans are in fact, rotten to the core. So they need to be replaced. Oh, and also discovered we have a leaking pipe right there. So Jono needs to fix that. Won't you, Jono? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so also here is the reality that no one ever shows you when it comes to renovating. Look at the filth that we just accumulate and it's so bad, there's just so much waste. We've had to go to the skip a few times, but look at this junk. Now it's raining. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So how are you going so far with the laundry? I've only broken stuff so far. In a good way? Yeah. Can I have a go? Just show me what you got. Think like you're at the fair, like you're at a fairground and you're trying to impress me. Sorry? You're at a fairground and you can't hear anything. Oh, okay. Just try and impress me, all right? Whoa. Whoa. I'm officially impressed, Thor. Eat your heart out. Give me a go. What you got? Uh, oh, this is so heavy. <laughs> What's my hand grip meant to be? One or together? Just don't let go. Hold on the red bit. Is it doing anything? I don't think mine's doing anything. You gotta keep going. Uh. I have to take a jumper off. You're nearly there. You're not. I'm not at all. <laughs> Do it on the bit that's not broken. What bit? It's not broken. Well, I'm not going to be able to do anything over there. Come on, that's what you got to do. Oh. Ow! Okay. All right. You're done. That's enough. You can do it, Thor. I'll finish it off. Oh, crap. What? I was meant to get more drainage pipe. Why didn't you do that? That's your whole thing that you're doing. Do you need me to physically be with you every time you go buy something? So I feel like you go and purposely leave things off the list just so you can go back to Bunnings. Oh, I don't want to go there. I went to three times yesterday. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, I'm under the floor. How is it? Oh, I'm stuck on the floor. Oh. Can you pass me? What do you want? The recipro. The what? The recipro saw. What's a recipro saw? The one that like cuts through anything. The one that cuts through anything. Is it Ryobi? Oh, this one? Short metal blade with black shit all over it. Okay. I think this is it. I got it. How do I get this to you? Put it in my hand. Ready? Nearly. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, sh Don't cut yourself. 
Oh no. What have you done? Oh, I what? Like grabbed the bit I cut off and now it's going further away from me. Yeah. I'm like really claustrophobic, so I'm like freaking out just looking at you. Have you got knee pads on? Can you fit? A bit dirty. Oh. Why is this thing so heavy? Look how yum this is. I can't see it, I just see a black hole. Oh, gross! So actually it was a lot of filth. Gross. What's all this noise? Oh, what that's noise? a horrible sound. Show me what you've done! Show me! You've got floor covered by a bed sheet. But, more importantly, oh, ow. Floor. Oh, so plywood? Plywood. We're and trying to figure out. out if we do whitewash or clear coat. So uh, that's well, up to me to, to figure though. out. Because I don't want it to be like trying too hard to match the other ones. And now what are you doing? Just finishing this wall. We're putting easy craft panels up, yeah? Yeah. Day 50,273. I don't think that's what the day is. John is doing a very good job in the laundry. And I actually haven't really done anything. I've actually just been doing some work. But Jono is about to lose it. He's like been back to Bunnings so many times he keeps forgetting stuff. <laughs> I don't think we got enough easy craft panels for the laundry. So I think Jono is trying to do something clever. Jono, are you trying to do something clever with the easy craft panels? Mm. clever. Do we have enough? Not quite. So this is really cool. Update report. We've got panels on the wall. Sorry for the lighting. It's getting very dark. I like your camera skills. Oh, my camera skills are so bad. Terrible. So jittery. Look at that. Easy craft panels. They're going to look so good painted up. I already know that I'm going to paint them. What color I'm going to paint them. Over here, this is, isn't this our problem area? Wall cabinets, bench top, washer, dryer, sink, bottom cabinets, top cabinets. And we have this awkward window, mm -hmm. which is not square. This whole wall, did you know? Look at this. It's so dodgy. It's all falling out and the whole wall actually angles back a little bit. This whole brick's actually separated, which is not great. But she's 125 years old. The old gal's doing all right. So if it hasn't fallen down now, it's not gonna fall down.
gosh. I actually don't think I've ever been this excited to see a washing machine in my life. I'm gonna go get some Stiney. Oh, I've got so much washing I need to do. I'm gonna get a pile. We can't go yet. Why? I haven't plugged it in yet. It'll be plugged in today. Better? I've got like a mountain. That looks so good. Oh my god, they're so much bigger than the ones we had before. Seriously? That's a lot of washing I can do in there. And it's nice having bench tops, isn't it? We had no bench space before. We just had a freestanding Freezer. sink. And then we had the washer and the dryer with nothing over the top of it. Oh, hello. How good is that? We had so much. We had like pesticide and like roast stuff. We had stuff for the garden in here. This That was feral. So now I've got all of this stuff. Those ones, they need to get fastened to the wall, all the trim panels, doors and everything go on them. So that's my job today. And then I need to fix the ceiling. Oh yeah, got... I haven't done that. These are black. Black doors. Yeah. yeah. Still got the plastic on it. Might give him a clean and get the plastic off. How good is that? So you what, Jono? I might actually quite enjoy doing the laundry once this room's finished. Lucky you. Oh my god, look at that. Do you have any kinetics here at all? Or something oh, similar. Yeah. Well, that's cool, so you can direct it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. So all your ones, you can do the same thing. So you awesome. can just pull it out as, as you are. Do they come in a bigger size? They do. Laundry, done. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Jono, you need to help me here. We're painting again. Yay! I thought we'd finish painting. <laughs> I thought we'd finish too, but completely forgot about this situation. We've nearly finished the laundry. I've got to still do some styling. I'm going to head out today to figure out what I'm going to do to style up there. Might go into the markets, pick up some nice flowers, make it all pretty in there. So my question is, I was thinking going the same grey that we've got in the laundry, which is this scout, which is a really nice soft grey, and potentially having a black caviar barn door, which is the same really dark dark charcoal as in the cabinets in the bathroom. However, you were saying you kind of liked that powdered gum green, which I also liked. Remember that we painted a swatch in We had the... it in the living room, and then yeah. you said, let's use it in the bathroom, but that was And then I didn't work. do that. Oh gosh, hang on. I swear to God, I'm strong. I went to the gym this morning. Oh, there we go. Look at this guy. Ooh. Gosh, he's pretty nice, isn't he? Question for you is, Jono, what were you thinking? Were you thinking that maybe we could do a green door? Maybe. Or would we paint this green, the whole wall, and would we potentially paint this room green? Full Australiana theme. Maybe. Actually, that's beautiful, isn't it? I feel like this is a whole room colour, not just like a door colour. Well, this is north facing. Gets quite a nice amount of natural light, so this colour might actually be okay. While I've got the paintbrush, I'm going to paint it over here. Oh, oh my god. That's actually beautiful. Can I show you the other colour that I was going to potentially paint this room, though? So, it's actually the same colour as the laundry. Wait one moment. I don't really have my painting gear on. I'm about to go to the shops. Thank you. This is the really soft grey. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. It's got purple in it, that's why you like it. Yeah! <laughs> You're quite right. You're getting better at this. It does have a getting nice better. Um... What do you mean? I'm always getting better. <laughs> I've trained you well with your colour therapy. Um, you're right, it does kind of... Too purple. It Too much actually... light in here. Do you know what? It looks purple here. <laughs> Turn but the I lights think off it's... for a second. It's not Still purple. looks purple. Really? Yep, turn it on. There it doesn't look purple. Does that look purple now? No. Why doesn't it look purple now? Well, that's also painting it on a... Green base. And also, I think it's that dodgy. That might have something to do with it. The warmth coming from our beautiful pendant line. I oh, don't do that. Oh. Covered in dust. Oh. Sawdust. Rookie, oh, and get rid of them. Sorry. We've got a door that's going to go here. So what the hell do I paint that door? If I paint it a dark black. color, like black caviar, would that look nice against yes, this? Yes, it'll look sick. Black caviar. 
area. Is that what you want? I don't know. Well, Done. I like it. Lovely. Quick decision is a good decision. Yeah. My mum used to always say. <laughs> I haven't had that in ages. I'm thinking I'm going to have to call Julux. Put in a new order. I'm going to go a green room. Can it be called the green room? Well, it's for the surfboards. Sorry? The green room is the barrel. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm not a surfer. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Surfing the surfboard and fishing apparatus storeroom. Yeah. Give us a wrap up. Let's go get paint. time so please come this way I want to show you into my new laundry so fancy and so nice in my entire life. To start with, this was a complete transformation because obviously our laundry was nothing like this when we first started. Look, I say we did a lot in here. I'll be honest, Jono, basically, you did all the work in here, Jono. It was phenomenal. I basically just came along at the end and made everything pretty. To start with, we've got to talk about what we did with the floor, okay? I'm pretty sure it was brick over here. There was a nice square brick feature. And then over here, there was concrete. And then the rest of it was like all of the old existing floorboards that we've had throughout the house. So in our other room, so the kitchen and the living room, we were able to strip back and whitewash those floorboards to bring them new life. We couldn't do that here. We had to sort it out. We had to level it out because they weren't even at the same level. You did okay getting out the brick, right? The brick was all right to get out. Surprising that the brick wasn't really concreted in, so it came out quite easily. Surprise, surprise. I had a crack at smashing the concrete slab. Very difficult. John had much better luck with that. It took you how long to get the concrete slab smashed out? An hour, maybe. An hour. It wasn't that. It wasn't a very big slab. Guns of steel. Yeah. So once that was all out and the floorboards were out, you fixed up a couple of the structural pieces that had rotted away. There wasn't much left in the way of structural flooring, so no. we basically rebuilt it. Basically have just put down plywood flooring. We did want to save money in here. We didn't want to kind of spend too much money. We also were conscious that we didn't want to try and match like the other floorboards in the house. So I wasn't really down with getting other floorboards or vinyl walls or anything like that to try and match the look that we had elsewhere but I wanted it to be of a similar tone and nature our options were basically yellow tongue and then potentially we were thinking can you whitewash yellow tongue uh, we were just like no it doesn't look great but then we thought we could tile yellow tongue which would have been a good option it is a laundry it would have been best but tiling is just it's expensive you've got to get the tiles and also laying them is a pain in the ass so we're like I don't want tiles let's just do plywood flooring give it a whitewash so it's similar to what we've got elsewhere in the house but it's got its own look and feel and I love them you've used two sheets in here and luckily the room was exactly the right length right two point seven seven <laughs> two point seven so we did the floor and we did the walls in order to make sure that we had good surfaces to put in our cabinets. And these are again, all caboodle cabinetry. We did a lot of off the shelf cabinetry in here because we were like, let's save money. Let's just go off the shelf. And do you know what? There ain't nothing wrong with white cabinets. These guys are so good. I mean, I've never had this much storage in a laundry ever. So this is like epic. So now I've got heaps of space for all of my bed linen, all of my towels, all of our extra stuff. Stuff. We've got cabinets in every bedroom, but we just need more. This is like all additional storage, which is fantastic. More storage up 
here as well, which is awesome because before, if you remember, there was a random solo cabinet, kind of like how we had it in the kitchen. And there used to be a door that actually led out to an outdoor toilet. Very random. What Jono has done is actually fix the walls up and we went with the really nice panels that we did in the bathroom, except we've gone full, which is pretty special. They look really good. They're straight. They're straight. They're straight. If you're in an old house like ours and you've got like weird rooms like this one, where everything's just wonky and out of place. These help add structure and just level everything out and they just hide all of the ugly mess that you might be dealing with. Went a really beautiful soft gray. So this is Discal from Jeweler. Oh my God, I hope I'm saying that right. D-I-E-S-K-A-U, Discal. Pretty sure that's how you say it. This was actually what I was thinking about doing for the kitchen, but in the end, I just went all white. It goes really nicely with the white and with the black as well. Sorry, speaking of the cabinetry, we have repeated over here a bit of a feature bench. Bench in a laundry. Again, I've never had a proper laundry. This is like blowing my mind, but we've got a full size bench here, which is so incredibly helpful and awesome. Um, and it's just so practical. Black pudding like we did in the kitchen, molasses like we did in the kitchen, but different to the kitchen, we actually went a chrome basin and a slightly different style. It's quite cool. A bit more provincial or something. So I kind of like this. It really softens it and it's actually really nice for the laundry. I'm kind of happy with the chrome and I like the contrast that it creates. A bit of industrial feel. So it kind of works, doesn't it, Jono? It's sort of industrial, it's a laundry, it's all good. Oh my God, the window. So the window before was an absolute nightmare wasn't it like it was just gross and like we haven't been able to change too much other than the fact that i just painted the hell out of it with Dulux aqua enamel yeah. semi gloss lots of lexicon quarter lots and lots to try and just maybe fix it all up so i've done the best that i can but the biggest thing is the beautiful timber venetians from diy blinds which is what we used in the living room in the three narrow ones so this is actually a really nice cool big guy it's just really nice because now i can look out onto the garden it just creates a bit of a feature of the window and it just softens it a little bit so i think the timber venetians work really well these are bright white as well Right, all right, gal. I've spoken about the cabinetry. I've spoken about my beautiful blinds. Have not spoken about these sexy, sexy guys. So Electrolux appliances. We got Electrolux appliances in the kitchen, and I was like, well, let the good times continue because I'm gonna get myself a new washer and dryer. Had never been so excited to see a washer in my entire life because Jono just up and sold them out of my life, and I had to just deal with like washing my stuff in the sink so thanks Jono. No worries. These are so good and they look a lot better in a sexy laundry. This is our washer. This is a big boy. He fits, I think it's 10 kilos. Yeah, 10 kilos. Basically washes your clothes with a beautiful, like nice, soft, gentle touch. It's got all the good stuff. You know, it's got a good design award. It's got a five star energy rating. What I actually really like is that it's got a really nice light inside. It's the little things, but that's actually really cool because you don't lose any of your washing. So obviously it's got all the different settings that you can do, but if you just got it like stando, which I pretty much do. You set it to your favorite and you just go on, man. You just go on, do it. And it's also got a timer, which is really cool. So if you wanted to finish at a certain time when you're getting home or whatever, it does it for you. And then we've got a dryer, which is fantastic. So it's the same. This one is nine kilo capacity. And this is a, oh, what's the word that I need to use, Jono? Condenser dryer. Condenser dryer. And the reason why that's really cool is that we didn't have that before. Basically, whenever we used our old dryer, our whole room used to just heat up and it became like a steam room and you'd walk in and you'd be like, I need to pass out. So that doesn't actually happen here at all. So it collects it all and look, if you don't have it plumbed, it will collect all your water in here and you need to tip it out. However, you're amazing. You plumbed it. We don't have to do a thing. So it doesn't make the room all hot and stuffy and it also doesn't make a sound either. It's very quiet, isn't it? It is very quiet. Yeah. Except when it finishes. Oh, it makes a little announcement. It does make an announcement. It just has to tell you that it's done a good job. It doesn't do that. 
It doesn't do that at all. Why did I just do that? But it makes a really cool like, guys, I'm done. And I actually am now talking to it when it's finished. I'm like, okay, I'll be there in a second. I like actually have a conversation with it because it has such a cute little like, I'm done. And I feel like it needs to be congratulated. So basically my highlight is the light and it's little tune. This does have a sensor, so it doesn't over dry. Oh, let's change again, because I just want to mention over here. Beautiful artwork, Sarah Kelk. I love the colors in here. I think this works incredibly beautifully with the gray. This guy was living in the living room before, but it didn't match the vibe that I was wanting to go there for my entertainment unit. So I bought him in here, and do you know what? This is like tripped up the laundry, something special. I haven't overdone the styling because to be honest with you, I love bench space. I'm a very practical person, but I have given it a little bit of flavor just in case any of you are like, mm, I'm not styled. I love the new lighting that we've got in in the laundry, uh, we used the same kinetic down lights we used in the kitchen, but what was actually really cool about this was that we've actually brought them closer together. We used to just have one light there, but we thought, you know what, we're gonna bring in two, we're gonna sit them tighter together to make a bit more of a feature out of them, and we've pivoted them slightly now towards the bench. They're badass, they're just like, what's up guys, we're awesome, and it just, it adds like a seriously cool, modern vibe to this laundry and it goes really nicely with the molasses cabinetry as well. Also what I should mention because this is an old house everything is a little bit odd so this room especially has like a really odd like old sort of chimney bits coming out everywhere so we couldn't do full cabinetry to the end because we weren't going custom so we thought do you know what that's fine we'll make it finish a bit further out so we've got a little hidey hole which means I can put all my things like my racks and stuff and my ironing board and my mops and stuff and they're all out of sight but they're actually really easy to access. I like that. Making something useful and handy out of a dodgy situation. Little bit of green, white, black and grey. And what I haven't mentioned is this edition, the barn door, which I'm mortified that I actually <laughs> matched the colours did not do that on purpose, I promise, but our sexy new barn door makes such a difference. So before we had a normal open door, again, same thing. We did shut it a lot, but it was just a waste of space. So this one is so much better. The this problem with the old door was it didn't actually open properly. It opened in and it would just bang against the appliances. Oh yeah, exactly, it would, yeah. yeah. This one we picked up from Bunning, both the door and, what do I call this, Jono? The track. The track. We were debating colour for a while. Part of me always thought I was gonna go just like a white or a grey on the wall and do like a feature colour for the door, like a pop colour. Switched it around on its head. Went really dark and chose a feature green, which is eventually gonna be followed on into this room, which is to be continued. That black reflects really nicely with the black pudding and the black cabinetry happening in here. Um, and it also, when you're walking down a hallway, you see the flash of the black kitchen and then it continues here into this room as well. So I love our new laundry. I hope you do too. And I hope you really enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed all of our home makeover series. But I gotta say, it's not the end of the series because we did such a good job in some of our rooms that we kinda wanna keep the love going into the rest of the house. So <laughs> be sure to keep following and let us know in the comments below if you wanna see anything in particular, either rooms or costs or whatever you want, let us know in the comments below. Like always, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got plenty more videos coming your way. I made a mistake. I've just realised. Have you noticed? Matchy matchy. <laughs> I literally bought the exact same colour as our room reveal. Should I go get changed? Nope. I did not plan this at all. Dang. It's a great combo. <laughs>